Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I originally, this was going to be three stories, but I think it's just going to be two stories um, and timestamps down below. And Matt gonna... Damon's been cut for time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> and I think there might be a little bit of a channel update at the very end as well. So stick out for that. Like always, timestamps down below. So how's it going, everyone? I mean, it's that time of the year again. Uh, the lead up to the World Cup is happening. They just had the friendlies in, in New Zealand against New Zealand. And now she believes Cup 2023. Actually, I guess I'll start with this. They have just announced the times and the, the networks that they're going to be on. We're going to get to the roster in a second. But it, February 16th, February 19th, February 22nd, they're going to play first Canada. Then they're going to play Japan. Then they're going to play. Then they're going to play Brazil. And it's going to be on HBO Max and it's going to be on TNT. Oh, okay. Well, the oh, second game, the, the, the one on the 19th and 22nd are going to be on TNT. The first one's only going to be on HBO Max. So last last video, we talked about them being on HBO Max. And a lot of people, a lot of people seem like we were split. You know, a lot of people just said, I saw some, one guy said he spent like two on $300 on just the, the, you know, the Paramount Plus and the HBO Max. Oh, so it adds up. Yeah, it definitely adds up. So those are when the games are going to be on. Sarah and I are going to watch them. Hopefully not going to fight again. <laughs> um, but we're going to watch them. And they just released the rosters for these games. And I guess we'll go through them now. If you look at the roster, I mean, it's the same goalkeepers from the friendlies and defenders. Uh, the Lana Cook, Crystal Dunn, Emily Fox, Naomi Gurma, Sophia Horta, Becky Sauerbrunn, and Emily Sonnet. Then we have for midfielders, we have Lindsay Horan, Taylor Korniak, Rose Lavelle, Christy Mewis, Ashley Sanchez, Andy Sullivan. And forwards, we have Ashley Hatch, Alex Morgan, Mitch Purse, Megan Rapino, Trinity Rodman, Mallory Swanson, Lynn Williams. Okay, yeah. few notable people in included slash not included. I guess mostly would be not included, but still no Sophia Smith. Yeah. is not included and i guess we have a little bit of an update about her I'll have sarah read this a u.s soccer spokesperson says that sophia smith has recovered from the foot injury that kept her out of the new zealand matches but is still working is still working her back to full fitness hence her absence from the u.s roster seems like she's almost there not quite back there i mean it looks like soon she will be coming back yeah, hopefully. um also no still no kelly o'hara not exactly sure when she will be ready she's still not in the lineup also someone like a Haley mace Haley mace was on the roster for the new zealand games she didn't get any play in playing time but she has not made this roster hmm. which i think is interesting and kind of telling the fact that she didn't get any playing time and also she's not on this roster so that might be noteworthy right. also someone like a sam coffee she was not on this roster she was on the roster for the new zealand games and I don't remember. I don't think she had any playing time either. I, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent on that, but I don't think she had any playing time either. But um, she was not included on this roster. And you know, and that's just a coach's decision. But you know, it's does that mean they're out of the running at this point? Obviously, the World Cup's still you know five six months away. But uh, that was noticed that she wasn't included on this roster. She wasn't there. And also. Pino back on the roster, you know, she wasn't included for New Zealand, but she, I believe she is healthy and fit again. Um, so, I mean, all these players are going to be fighting for their spot also, but it's funny. So last time we talked about the national team, we talked about them playing in New Zealand and, and, you know, they won. I thought they looked pretty good and, you know, I'm really pumped. I was actually... A lot of people left comments on that video saying I seem to specifically a little overly pumped in a good way. You're not in a bad way, but like in a oh, like you're very pumped yeah. because I was thinking I'm feeling so good about it. A lot of people were like, oh, lionesses are coming kind of rawr, you know, meow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and like kind of a friendly, fun way. Um, and then so I was looking at the comment section for the roster drop. And there's a lot of people, rightfully so, who are just still still in the worried stage. And I was in that stage. Now I'm I'm just feeling more um, hopeful, but there is a lot of people still in the worried stage. Like they just don't see. I'm so worried. I don't yeah, know about you. <laughs> they just a little bit. They just don't see. They're not inspired by anything that Vladko does. I think yeah, Vladko. Right. I think Vladko just lost a lot of people. I think he did. I think Vladko lost people. 
It's like reading a book upside down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just not inspired by any of his choices, especially when you have people like Serena Vegman coaching England and Bev Priestman of Canada who are just doing amazing things. I know what they're doing. And you see Vladko and oh, they're not inspired by Vladko and a lot of people are just counting down the days until it's someone new, which I get, you know? Yeah. He hasn't done anything inspiring to a lot of people. So I did see a lot of people in the comment section just like underwhelmed, I will say. Mm. And also Vladko, they asked him at the press conference about um, some other players. Vladko Ananovsky says players who could be back on the field for the U.S. Women's National Team in the April FIFA window include Katarina Macario, Sophia Smith, more than could, should, Kelly O'Hara, Kristen Press, and Tobin Heath. Yeah. Interesting. Kristen and Tobin, apparently, according to Vladko, it's still on the table for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But who knows? At this point, Tobin Heath doesn't even have a team yet. You know, doesn't have an NWSL team, doesn't have any team. To- I know. Why do they always got to make us wait for this? Yeah. <laughs> so we have to see what happens there. Um, But, but yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of the news. The roster's out. I'm feeling pretty um, optimistic overall. Um, but I think it is hard to feel optimistic, especially with a lot of questions still out there. I mean, you know, you and I talk about the same thing all the time, but it does seem like, you know, until it's not going to be until this summer till we really know whether the pieces are going to fall together or they're not, you know, (laughs) I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, you're feeling optimistic, but you just don't know until all the pieces are together. But these, these games that the the she believes these are going to be tough games yeah. canada is going to be a tough game mm-hmm. um japan brazil those are going to be tough games so that's going to tell us a lot yes new zealand was great to watch them to see kind of how they the, the flow different um lineups on the the pitch but these are going to say it tell us a lot because those are tough teams top tier mm-hmm. it, these games will be very exciting uh but what did everyone think i mean are you nothing changed from New Zealand too much uh but is everyone looking forward to these kind of high caliber teams that you US is going to play because this summer I mean it's going to be wild this summer the the World Cup it's going to be wild biggest women's world cup of all time you know what I mean I know but, can't you know, wait so what did everyone think? Is everyone watching the games? Are you happy it's on TNT? This, there is not much of a segue here because, <laughs> because Sarah and I did want to talk about this at some point. But there is a show on Fox called Special Forces World's Toughest Test. Yes. And has a bunch of celebrities. I think it has 15 celebrities. Some of the most random celebrities. It has like... At slash athletes. Athletes, yeah. It has Gus Kenworthy. Jamie uh, Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears. <laughs> uh, Dr. Drew. Dwight Howard. Uh, yeah, baseball players. Basketball players. Yeah, football players. Football players. Uh, Kate Goslin. <laughs> And it has about 15 Oh, people. Nasty Lucan. Yeah, exactly. So it has 15 celebrities slash athletes. But one of the people included, which is the reason why Sarah and I watched, obviously, was because Carly Lloyd was being part of She's it. She's one of the contestants. One of the contestants. And so Sarah and I weren't going to watch it, obviously. But then when we heard that Carly Lloyd was uh, going to... I plan on watching it all along because I saw Carly Lloyd. Oh, okay, yeah. It. So when she saw her. Um, so Sarah and I have been watching it. And it's on Hulu. So it's almost... The, the season's almost done. But if you have have hulu you can go back and watch all the episodes right Um, anyone watching it out there because carly lloyd is one tough ass b it's kicking ass (laughs) she's so strong like mentally yeah physically and yeah she's showing up so it's so the premise of the show is that they train them like it's like Navy SEALs or Special Forces. Yeah, I was going to say abuse, but... Uh. Yeah, and it's very hardcore training for just like the military would give them if they were to be in the military. And They train them to be machines, not to be humans. And they do so wild things. Wild. They jump off of buildings uh, on ropes. They walk across ropes 100 miles they in the air. They get on fire. They, yeah, they go in uh, water and explosions mm-hmm. and just wild stuff and what they, what they keep saying it's not if you fail the mission because they keep saying yeah they don't want you to fail a mission but it's how you react to when you fail the mission you know what i mean do you 
um, just break down because you failed the mission. Do you? Yeah, it's all about mental toughness. Yeah. And Sarah and I, obviously, the reason we're watching is because of Carly. But Carly Lloyd has failed some missions. I have you. She has. Every single time she fails a mission, I'm like shocked. But she's failed kind of like not a lot of them, but a, a handful of them. But she's resilient and she comes back and she's just so positive about it. And, yeah. you know, she doesn't. She never is, like, negative no. or crying like everyone else on the show. Every- Almost like, okay, I feel that. Let's move on. Like, she's so mentally strong. She's so yeah. mentally, mentally tough. And I know, Sarah and I know what a polarizing person, player Carly Lloyd is in the soccer world. I know some people just, uh, she's polarizing. A lot of people don't like her. A lot of people like her. And we get that. I mean, you for whatever reason why you like her slash don't like her, hey, everyone, it's okay. You know what I mean? But I... I just think one of the reasons why it's so important to have a Carly Lloyd on this show is just I could not think of a tougher, mentally tougher person to have on the show to represent women in sports. Yeah. Specifically, Uh they have Carly Lloyd. They see people might not know about Carly Lloyd or know about women's sports. Oh, women's sports are so emotional. They're such they're so they cry. The men have been crying 10 times more than Carly Lloyd. (laughs) Carly Lloyd is not crying. She's not. I haven't seen her cry once. No. Yeah. And it's like. She represents women kind of just to be like, I'm as tough as the next person next to me. You know what I mean? And I love that. That's the thing I'm loving about her being on the show. Yeah, but um, they don't give her enough screen time or enough lines. Yeah. <laughs> so she's not getting enough screen time. I think just because she's just doing so well, there isn't a lot of drama. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, she's not part of the Gus Ken or the drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I, you know, it's one of the, there is nothing wrong with being emotional at all. There's nothing wrong with women crying. There's nothing wrong with men crying. Nothing wrong with that. But the way I think men look at women is, oh, they just cry. They're emotional. They're hom- Women are weaker. They can't keep up with the men or less than physically hormonal, whatever. Men already look at women like that overall. But for having these, having men look at Carly and be like, well, Carly's not crying, but all these, everyone else is. Or Carly's keeping up with everyone else. Carly's finishing one or two. I think it just, it, it it's a good um, representation for women can be as just as uh, non-emotional, as strong as men, even stronger. She is stronger than most of these men emotionally in this yeah. competition and physically and physically and she's not one of the youngest people there she so I, i'm excited so far she's still in the competition it's one of those things even if you lose it's just if you make it through the 10 days you make it through and yeah. she's still there i think there's like two or three episodes to go but if you guys haven't checked it out and whether you're a carly lloyd fan or not i mean it's you gotta watch it i mean yeah. the earlier episodes are pretty funny <laughs> and um, it seems like the instructors respect carly lloyd a lot and it that just means a lot as a soccer fan to see that's the representation to see someone getting so much respect as an athlete you know yeah so it's cool to see and carly is so funny because uh she's so serious she doesn't have a lot of lines but when she does uh she's like calling out sometimes people and and we see some carly abs we did um, you know so that's always a plus yeah but you can check it i believe it's on hulu yes um so yeah those two stories really had nothing com- you know nothing co- completely related oh, carly used to play on the national yeah, team, yeah. so <laughs> there's your that's true that's connection. true um what did everyone think last thing i'm gonna mention this kind of briefly but um uh, I'm not quite sure how many videos, the quality of the videos we're going to be getting out in the next couple weeks, month. I don't know. Um, uh, As many people know, my mom was very sick. She passed away about a year and a half ago. And now my dad is okay, but he he has some physical limitations that he's going to need a little more help with. So he he hasn't been in the greatest health the last couple years, but the last couple months he just needs more and more physical help so so i'm gonna go visit him it's about a four hour uh, drive from where sarah and i live and i don't know how long i'm gonna be away from sarah but uh but yeah so the videos uh, if you see sarah in a video or even if we do videos but they're not as long or not as in depth that is the reason and even if you notice that we haven't been on instagram or we haven't been on youtube as much that's one of the main reasons but i just want to mention that because and it just sucks. You know, when your parents go older, my mom was in her 70s, but my dad's still in his 60s. So 
it just sucks and uh it sucks you know these kind of things just really suck okay so i just want to mention that as well questions comments down below what did everyone think um yeah and we are excited to watch she believes hopefully i'll be home to watch them with sarah <laughs> and then also special forces you guys gotta catch it because it's a it's a good show it's a good show yeah or liking questions comments down below we'll talk to everyone later have a great night bye, bye.